This is part Aaron. two. In the links, of, I sent uh, him two the links Arabian prophet, Christian prince. He's excellent at exposing he's Islam. Right now, it sounds like Sam Shamoon is talking, and Sam Shamoon is excellent to seek advice at uh, exposing Islam also. To be consulted. Now, that's the book. Uh, almost as good as Christian right, Prince. So he was shocked. He goes, when I read it, it was shocking. That Allah is seeking Muhammad's advice, consulting with him. Is that? That you're seeking someone's counsel. Oh, by the way, that's the boards of that's the boards of a Canada plane in the background. Guys, understand what you're reading here. This is the all powerful, all knowing Allah. For his advice, what Allah should do to Muhammad's community. <laughs> the Muslim mentioned in the video took this as the honor of Muhammad. Look at our prophet. Who he is. That Allah himself would ask his advice and seek his consultation. Allah Akbar. Shall I do it then? I said, what you will, my Lord. They are your creation and your service. Now watch this. My advice again. I'm trying to pronounce the Arabic. So, Fa El Twice. Thaniya means twice. He sought up my advice, my counsel, twice. And I notice what he said. Allah said to Muhammad, We shall not put you to shame concerning your community, O Muhammad. So let me just give you the rest of the quote. It's on page 9 of that book. I'm going to write an article on this. Freeze the camp, uh, the, freeze the, whatever you do here the page and again I broke it down into sections like it appears in the quotation so you don't have to spell it out I already spelled it out that's why I was not paying attention to the text I was busy looking for this hadith and I found it all glory to the Lord Jesus Christ more proof that we'll use in the power of the Holy Spirit with the boldness he gives us and the holiness and love for Jesus to expose this wicked antichrist who's under the feet of Jesus burning in hell that's where, where he deserves to be this wicked son of Satan Okay, save it. I'm not going to read all of it. Here's the last part. The last part of the section. And you'll see at the end the grading. What's the grading? Here you go. Last part. Oops, sorry. So for some reason, I'm going to go through it. Well, I see why. Because it has the uh, link. It didn't go through because of the link. So I, uh, I got to omit it. Okay. Ahmed and Haythami said in Majma al Zawayi that its chain was fair. Hassan. And the page number. So, see if you mind, don't mind three links I sent you. The link to the book, the YouTube video. So you should have three links. God bless you. Christ is risen. Jesus lives forever. And may he wash us in his blood and fill us with the spirit to be in love with him, to save us from Satan, from the world, from ourselves, and save our loved ones for his glory, to be his forever. We love you, Jesus. You are the son of God. Come sooner than later. Thank you very much. I post the first video and the second video. Here we go. Uh, I have a problem here with my computer side. Somehow, I don't know why, my screen is appearing weird for me. I guess I need to clean my computer. And this is the second one. And this is the website again, whether answering he would like you to see. Um, You know, the God of Islam canceling with Muhammad is actually less important than the God of Islam agreeing with Umar al Khattab. <laughs> you remember the hadith answering? I'm sure you know it. Umar al Khattab he said that uh, Muhammad God Eat with him in three. To him in three. 
how that can happen. And if you see what those three are, you will see that this is Islam. One who wanted the Kaaba to be the place of a prayer. Allah or Umar al Khattab. It was Umar al Khattab. Imagine. We are not even talking about the Prophet now. We are talking about a guy who is a com companion. He is not one. It's like, you know, saying to me, you're saying to you, I am the prophet and the brother answering is my friend. And then my God, he agreed with my friend. In what? In something very serious. Direction we pray and which holy place we have. And what is the second thing Allah he agreed with him? Anyone knows? The Kaaba is the first thing. What is the second one? Anyone remember? Nobody remember? Veiling women. Imagine if Islam, if Umar al-Khattab is not the one who mentioned that there's no veil for women in Islam. We are talking about a major, major things in Islam here. Women veil, it was not from Muhammad. It was from Umar al-Khattab. And what else? What is the third one? Allah he agree with Umar with. Anyone remember? <coughs> no. The wives of Muhammad. Umar al-Khattab, he threat the wives of Muhammad. If they don't behave, Allah will replace them with better women. Allah send women, send verses. And the funny guys, that only, not only Allah he agree with Umar, Umar he says, and Allah he sent the verses as I said. Not only he said, I, he agreed with me. He said literally that Allah he agreed with me in three things. And then he says, what was the three things? And then he said, Allah sent the verses as I said. <coughs> I have a debate over, <laughs> where is he? Where is the debate Put your hand up, we are welcome, go ahead. <coughs> please be, be easy on me because you know, like I don't know much about Islam. So please like don't don't be tough. Alright, look like you are very strong and very powerful. You're mine. Let's go ahead, Mr. Mr. Ahmed. <coughs> okay, I would like to talk about um if we could be debate on you know how christians talk about salvation now what i want to debate with you about is salvation according to christianity your mic my friend you can talk about anything you want but if you choose salvation we have to talk about salvation in islam and salvation in christianity is that fair guys you choose the topic, you said salvation, no problem. But to make a perfect picture of the debate, what about you ask me about salvation in Christianity and I ask you about salvation in Islam? Do you mind? Because it's going to be weird. Our salvation, but you don't want to mention your salvation. Right. And if you can speak louder, please, I put my microphone all the way up. Time to hear you. Do you mind? Okay, I would like to talk about the salvation in Christianity. Jews, as you all know, believe that Jesus Christ is here. So, my question is what I have a hard time, very hard time understanding is save you when Jesus cannot even save himself. How do you expect somebody to save you that worships God, but then part three coming up to save you.